just the idea of being able to have eye contact with someone and for that to be enough just to to lift you up all you need to do is just see this person's eyes you know and then you're you're in a different place i think it's a very pure message and a very kind of simple one and i think everyone's looking for that kind of that kind of thing at the moment best part about working with clean bandit is like they're their own creatives i really respect that you know i like people that that take care of their own shit and like they they know what they want to do with this so um because i'm the same way so that's definitely something that i really like i really fucked with about them they showed me the song and off the rip i really fucked with it because it gave me like a like a tropical vibe my favorite thing working with ian i don't know he was so like open and just ready to explore and like just uh, totally willing to collaborate. At first we were working remotely and that can be even more awkward in itself, but he was just so chilled and so nice. He's just such a nice guy. He's got such a diverse range in terms of the, the, the types of songs he can deliver. And you know, you can hear some of his tracks that sound like really grungy, almost like it gives me the like vi like offspring vibes, but then he can also just flip out, you know, the, the kind of emotional side as well, which was really important for this song. Going on beyond that, into kind of his actual, you know, obviously he's like a ridiculous rapper as well. So adding that aspect, it forced us to like really push the production. Under my skin, under my skin. Something that really gets under my skin is a liar. I don't fuck with liars. And there's a lot of liars around here. So, you know, that's definitely one thing that gets under my skin. Cause you know, if you just kept it a buck with me, you, we wouldn't have a problem. Got me struggling to know where you end and where I began. It's really just saying like that everybody's the same. I'm no different than you are and you're no different than me. So I can't tell where I end and where you began. I feel like a lot of people nowadays kind of confuse it and feel like they're entitled to their own opinions. And you know, they feel like they're bigger than somebody else, but everybody's the same, bro. If I cut you, you're gonna bleed just like I would. And we feel incredible, we feel no pain. You got me feeling insane, got me struggling to know where you end and where I began. One thing that makes me feel good and makes myself feel invincible is just acting like I don't care. You kind of forget like what they did to you and like you just kind of remember that like you're the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody could take you down. So you could try to, but at the end of the day, I'm feeling good. I feel incredible. Had my head underwater. Had my mind under covers. Had my faith in the gutter. Underwater, water, 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 water. Times like that where I felt that way was whenever I was chasing a relationship. You kind of don't realize that you're going, that you're sinking, but in the moment, it just, it doesn't matter. So I would just keep chasing her and chasing her until, you know, I was completely submerged underwater. Getting out of it was just like letting go. And I know like that sounds so simple, but like, whenever you're in a situation like that, it's not as easy as you think. It's easier said than done. Yeah, it took a little while, but you know, I let that person go and like um, everything just kind of like opened up for me. It was like the world was like waiting for me to do that. But when you look at me, I'm higher, higher, higher eyes on me. I'm higher, higher, higher. Nothing matters at all when I see you with your eyes on me. I'm higher, higher, higher. Uh. You know, one thing that like really lifts my spirits, especially right now uh, with everything going on is just being around my family. You know, just being around them and seeing them happy is definitely like lifts my spirits for sure. But in the song, I was talking about like the girl, like when I look in her eyes, I just feel higher, higher, higher. Like I would get high off this girl and there was no other feeling like it. I'm a pop out with a no lie. I'ma get away, ah, oh, baby, we slide. And the second verse is kind of just an extension of like my own personality and like who I am. Cause at the end of the day, like we'll have our problems, but I'm still gonna pop out with you, no lie. Like I'ma pull out with you, I'ma, I'm gonna show you off, I'ma show you how I move. Whether like we're having problems or we're not having problems, like, you know, we should always be having a good time. Head in the clouds when I look in your eyes, I don't got a doubt in the back of my mind that you got it, got it, got it all. 
You got it, got it, got it all. In that part of the verse, I, what I was saying, like what I was envisioning is just me looking at it and like, she just looks sexy as hell. You know, she got the fit on. She, you know, she she got her hair did, nails it, all that shit. I don't know. I mean, I like a girl with substance. I like a girl that's mature, you know, that I don't have to tell you what to do. You independent as hell. You, I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to call you and see where you at. And you know it's you that drives me crazy. No, it's you that drives me crazy. We ended up going to Jamaica and like we shot the video and like, made the song over there and it was it was a good vibe we went to like the bob marley studio um you know we, we hit like a few spots like iconic scenes in in jamaica and it was it was honestly super refreshing you know i mean honestly we were just having fun the whole time and that's why i made the video feel like super natural we got to work on it in tough gong in kingston which is just this amazing uh studio with this like insanely rich musical history because uh, to begin with we were working in lockdown and only working kind of remotely on on you know on Zoom and whatever, so to finally actually be in a studio together and especially in a place like that was just a dream come true. Whatever genre I'm doing or whatever genre I'm making, like it's an extension of me, so it's gonna sound like me regardless. My next album, I have every like a bunch of genres involved in the in the mix, so this is just a song that kind of shows that I'm going in that direction.